cleartechinfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Adobe Acrobat Reader in Windows 7. Unlike Adobe Flash, it does not need to be installed multiple times if you have different browsers like Firefox, Explorer, Opera, Chrome. It only needs to be installed once with any browser. First, open up any browser you have. Doesn't matter if it's Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera, Safari, Chrome. Then at the top address bar, type in get.adobe.com. Forward slash reader. Then go to that site, hit enter. Uncheck this if you do want to install the Google Toolbar. It is unnecessary, not related whatsoever to Acrobat Reader. Then click download. If you get this up here, especially if you use Internet Explorer, just click it and select this. Install this add-on for all users on this computer. Then click install. When the installation is complete, you'll see this screen. Just click Close Download Manager. Click and close it up. The Acrobat Reader is now installed. Click the icon, then open it up. Click Accept. I will show you quickly how to test and make sure your Adobe Acrobat Reader is working properly. Just open up any internet browser. Go to google.com and within the search bar type in Adobe Acrobat Reader Test. Then click Google search. Usually if you click one of the first three pages that shows up it will take you to a test page. Then just follow whatever link it gives you. And if it is working correctly, like it is working correctly on mine, it will have a message here and you'll be able to see something. If it does not work, you'll see some sort of red X or some sort of error message on your screen. And you just need to reinstall it again or just ask me at cleartakeinfo.com and I'll help you out. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.